How are you guys doing? So what do I think about Angela's buff that's coming up? I think it's awesome, man. I really think that Angela's buff is going to make her the best cosmic champion in the game. Just imagine Hyperion getting a buff. That's just what I think Angela's buff is. Uh, today is Sunday. I don't want to post this video until the, the official buff comes out. Because last time I talked about certain champion that got a buff I was so hyped about uh, it was Gambit and what did they do they nerf him so I don't understand why they buff a champion and they nerf cha and then nerf him it doesn't make any sense but that's what they did to Gambit so I really don't want to talk about it uh, post this video until officially Angela's buff come out so like I mentioned she is like pretty much like Hyperion that got a buff so uh, I was really thinking this like no way that he she was could be the best cosmic king the champion in the game if she gets above i was gonna put her in the top three after hearing mike kaban mac that she's not gonna get any new abilities which was actually false she's getting a, a lot of utilities that's really really good so let's just think about uh, what's what that she's gonna get she's able to block um Advanced training allows Angela to parry non-contact attacks as long as they're not mystic. So that's uh, Infinity Iron Man, which is really good. And there's Havoc. And there's more champions that she's able to be able to parry that doesn't have non-contact attacks. Which is, I think, it's awesome. It's a plus. Unfortunately, she didn't get a buff on the regen. But I think I can see why with the, all the utility she's getting. I think that will break the game. She'll be too OP. That's uh, understandable with the buff shit she got so when it comes to her um what do you call this fury armor up and precision she got a slight buff it's not too much i think overall when it comes to the base attack it might increase her attack by maybe 10 to 15 percent that's about it not too much but what makes her really really that makes her gonna hit like a freaking truck is the special three so you can you pretty much want to throw in the special three especially in long fights uh she gains if you have an aptitude buff if you don't have an aptitude buff it only lasts for five seconds but if you do basically you have a special three ready to go and you if you crit you gain an aptitude if you do throw in special three when you have enter aptitude buff it'll last 30 seconds so you what happens is you gain 60 percent armor fury and precision buff lasting for five seconds that's for every buff if, if that's correct so that's gonna make her hit like a truck once you throw in that special three so not only that what's gonna make her hit hard as you can see here for every buff that you get the opponent gets an armor break it also removes an armor up buff which is also makes this will make her hit like a truck the armor break and she can easily you know gain five or six buffs so this will make it that's already five armor break she can probably get up to nine or more arm armor uh, buffs so that's nine armor breaks and that will make her hit like a freaking truck uh, when it comes to a special one after you throw in a special three don't be surprised a special one with a six star rank three angela could hit over a hundred k total when you combine all the attacks from the special one and and the fact that her signature ability has nothing to do with her damage output would will make her you know which is really really good so you can have a I wouldn't hesitate to take Angela to 6 star rank 3 because she doesn't need to be awakened for her damage output. Definitely though you want you want him to have awakened and have high second ability for utility. That's really a lot of her utility will come in is from her awakening ability which will it's just big plus. So let's look about that signature ability. So obviously which from her old pre-buff she had the nullify be able to not reduce opponent's ability to nullify her 35 percent for each buff also the auto block that's really good against modok against iron man infinity war against medusa that throws an auto block on you so that's really really good but probably the most important thing is if i'm reading this correct she's getting a 35 reduced damage debuff duration for every buff on her and getting 
three buffs on her, it's not that difficult. So that means she's basically going to be able to purify any damage over time. I think this is such a big plus. Without it, I wouldn't consider her being the best cosmic champion in the game. i probably put her on the top three. But this right here with her signature ability at max sig, she's going to be able to purify pretty much any damage over time as long as she has three buffs or more this is such a really really good um, buff from her the dot be able to purify it i think that's really just kind of pulls her away from all the cosmic champion be able to do that like a, so basically break it down why she's the best champion in the game in my opinion when, when this buff comes out she's gonna she has her own region she has ability to region right here and she hits, she's going to hit like a truck, number two. And number three is that her signature ability. So damaging debuff duration is reduced. So this right there, if, if I'm reading correct on my paper, she's going to be pretty much at max sig. She's going to be, be able to reduce purify all damaging debuff which is going to be really really good like i mentioned i think the, um her buff is going to make her really well i'll post this as soon as the officially angela's buff comes out because i don't want them to nerf angela i really hope that she they don't nerf her just just, just based reading on, um, if everything is correct on paper she's going to be really good that's my opinion guys thank you